Pug myelopathy is an uncommon condition in dogs that is still not fully understood. In fact, much remains open to debate, right down to its name. Sometimes we refer to it as subarachnoid diverticulum, pug ataxia, and facet hypoplasia. At Southeast Veterinary Neurology, we use the term constrictive myelopathy. What is pug myelopathy? First, we'll talk about what's a myelopathy in general. Myelopathy means any disorder of the spinal cord, such as slipped discs, or tumors, or inflammation, or degeneration of the spinal cord. Pug myelopathy occurs when a constrictive band of tissue forms on the outside of the spinal cord in what we call the subarachnoid space. This constriction in the subarachnoid space changes the flow of fluid around the spinal cord and a pocket can form around the spinal cord. That fluid pocket compresses the spinal cord and is what causes the damage to the spinal cord. The job of the spinal cord is to transmit signals from your dog's brain down to the rear limbs and bring information from the rear limbs up to the brain. When there's damage to the spinal cord, that prevents these messages from traveling normally and can result in neurological symptoms. Typical symptoms of constrictive myelopathy include rear limb weakness and incoordination that usually comes on gradually. The front limbs are usually normal. We classically see it in older pugs, but we can diagnose constrictive myelopathy in other breeds, such as the French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier. Many dogs might show low tail carriage, and many will also have urinary or fecal accidents. Signs are typically not painful, but they do worsen over time. No one fully understands why this condition happens to pugs. The cause is likely multifactorial, and there's certainly a genetic component. Many times, these dogs have a malformation in the bones of their vertebral column, and this malformation leads to mild instability. The instability causes there to be chronic irritation to the spinal cord, and that can cause scar tissue to form. That's what forms that constrictive band. That constrictive band is what leads to the abnormal flow of CSF, and the abnormalities within the spinal cord. Constrictive myelopathy can be considered as a cause for an older pug with non-painful progressive rear limb weakness and incoordination. However, there are other conditions that can look just like it, including slipped discs, inflammation, tumors, and other malformations of the spinal cord. An MRI is the best and only way for us to visualize the spinal cord and diagnose these conditions. MRI can show the fluid pocket outside the spinal cord as well as the changes within it. Sometimes a CAT scan is performed in addition to the MRI to better evaluate the bones and look for these abnormal facets. Typically, x-rays are not enough to fully evaluate for constrictive myelopathy. In general, there are two main forms of treatment, surgical and non-surgical options. Surgery aims to alleviate the spinal cord compression by draining the fluid pocket, breaking down the scar tissue, and re-establishing normal CSF flow. Additionally, many neurologists stabilize the vertebral column. Non-surgical treatment involves physical therapy and medications to help decrease CSF production and help edema within the spinal cord. Studies have shown that dogs that are treated with surgery tend to have a better long-term outcome than those that are treated medically. This has certainly been our experience at Southeast Veterinary Neurology. If your dog is showing signs of rear limb weakness or incoordination, we recommend consultation with a neurologist. After evaluation, we can better assess the possible causes and recommend a course of action to determine the cause. By knowing the cause, will better be able to recommend the best treatment option and better know the likelihood of recovery.